Hello! Hi Replay viewers, I'm Brett Larkin. I'm from Brett Larkin Yoga on YouTube. Um, thanks for coming and hanging out in the scope. If you're new to me or you don't know who I am, I help people live their best life using yoga as a lens and a tool and a medium with which to pursue the goal of living your best life and being your best self. Hey guys, hey everyone who's joining. So if you are new to me, you wanna click in my Periscope bio, um, I have a beginner yoga guide if you're brand new to yoga, um, brettlarkin.com forward slash newbie. It's in the link in my Periscope bio. And yes, I see lots of people here from my new awesome membership community, which is called Uplifted. You definitely wanna check it out if you like my videos on YouTube or have been following me online. Uplifted is supposed to be a no-brainer. Oh, thanks for saying I look pretty, Amanda. You're so nice. Um, it's super, super affordable, super fun, and we're almost at 100 members, I think, and it's only existed for like 14 days. So you definitely want to check that out and join now. Our next live call is a group in which I give you personalized feedback on your yoga poses. Um, it's really cool how it all works. Check out the website. It's on Wednesday, so join before Wednesday. Hey, everyone who's joining, and thanks for sharing. So yeah, this would be a great time to share this out. And I don't have a big agenda for us today. My biggest, thanks for the hearts, you guys. My biggest thing I wanted to do is I have my little iPad here and I wanted to go through some questions that had come up in um, the Uplifted group. Alex, you're in bed? You must be in Europe. What time is it over there? Um, and of course, everyone, you can throw any yoga related questions in the chat and I will answer them. Um, so one question that came up in our Facebook group. So guys, I was really proud of myself because I got the iPad out. So I actually have our uplifted private Facebook group right here. And again, if you're new to me and yoga, you can join our totally free Facebook group at yogahackscommunity.com. Yoga, H-A-C-K-S community.com is where you want to go to hang out with us and um, brettlarkin.com forward slash uplifted if you want to join the movement um, and get in here. So, okay, um, someone on here had asked about affirmations and the deal with affirmations, and I'm also gonna cover info on teacher training. Maybe I should do that first. Guys, put in the chat what you want first. Affirmations or info on the teacher training. Um, affirmations or teacher training, let me know. Um, because there's a lot that we can cover. Lots of trolls in the scope today. Get out, trolls. YTT. Okay, Stephanie, I know you want the YTT info and the affirmation stuff. Okay, we'll do YTT at the end. Let's talk about the affirmation. So someone in the private Facebook group, um, well, Lisa wrote that I'm evil when I laugh during my core workouts. And guys, if you um, aren't doing the core training challenge with us right now, it is brettlarkin.com forward slash core if you want to join and it's free as part of Uplifted. Um, oh, you just watched the teacher training video I just sent today? That's funny. Um, I'm in San Francisco for those of you who are asking. Okay, so staying focused. Um, so she asked about affirmations and, I, and we're reading The Miracle Morning as part of our book club within Uplifted. Um, and he talks about one of the things that he does in the morning is to say affirmations and write affirmations. Um, so I wanted to give a little bit of clarity on this because I know that it can be confusing and someone wrote in the Facebook group like, am I supposed to write the affirmation? Am I supposed to say it? Is the affirmation supposed to be personal to me or is it supposed to be general? These are such great questions. So to be fully transparent with you guys, I'm still working on being really consistent with my affirmations. If you listen to the member only podcast about the Miracle Morning, and I have a free podcast summary of it, brettlarkin.com forward slash podcast. Anyone who wants like inspiration and motivation on the go should check out the podcast. Um, but one of the things I said in the members only podcast was that I actually write down my affirmations in my journal instead of saying them out loud. There's a couple reasons for this. First of all, I get up really early, like a lot of us have been doing in the Facebook group. Um, so my husband's still sleeping. I live in like an apartment building. So I'm not gonna like start yelling affirmations, even though they say that's the way to do it, is that you wanna like say the affirmation and block and walk around. Um, yeah, and if you wanna block people, um, trolls, you just tap on them and hit block, you guys, so you can help me block the trolls. But they're all leaving now. They always just pop in at the beginning, um, which is funny. So um, yeah, you can block, and you can also block on the replay, and you can give hearts on the replay. And I think they all just left, yay. Um, so the question about affirmations is like, 
you it's best to say them but I personally find that it feels a little awkward and my husband's asleep so I write them in my journal and um, hey sacred calling um, the person who asked that um, you know definitely listen I think it was Mara Mara yes she said my question exactly what is classified as an affirmation is it just positive things you say about yourself are they goals are they both so I think they can be both I think it's most powerful if you say it, but if you need to write and journal it instead, that's also fine. And I think the more personal they are, the better. But I wanted to, since we're all live, I thought maybe I could give you some examples of mine. And I write them down as opposed to saying them, as I mentioned, just because I'm up early and I don't want to start screaming. But it's like a confirmation. And it's the idea is like you're rewiring and retraining your mind. And it ties into the idea in the Miracle Morning of how you're living into who you're becoming. The affirmations are a bridge that's supposed to help with that. Hey on YouTube. Hey Giselle. Um, so some of my affirmations. So, so like it's sort of a loose catch-all term, which I know is not the most helpful thing but it could be something like um and guys do you have examples of affirmations that you want to put here in periscope in the chat recently in our private facebook group and again that's yoga hacks h-a-c-k-s community.com um pe i asked people for their favorite mantra and i kind of use the word mantra as synonymous with affirmation which is probably you know a, a real yoga mantra is like a sanskrit word like mung or sat yam, like those are a mantra that you chant when you're meditating. But I, just because I'm me, I use like the word mantra to sort of just say, I, I use it like to mean affirmation as well, just because I think it's a fun word. Um, so, okay. So I'm trying to find some examples of, okay. So here's an example of one of my affirmations. Do you guys want to hear an example of one of mine? Um, and, oh, Bonnie says the Miracle Morning website has affirmations in there for you guys. That's awesome. I need to check that out. Um, okay, yes. Okay, give me some hearts. Yes, okay. So one of mine is, I am patient, persistent, I meet every goal. So that's not super personal to, to like, that, that could work for a lot of people. But I know that I tend to be impatient. I know that I tend to start a lot of things and not follow through. So I wrote that one just out of that intention. So I am pers patient, persistent, and I meet every goal. So that's something I could think to myself internally. It's something you could say aloud. And for me, I journal it. I write them down over and over and over again. Um, and this is another <laughs> affirmation I have. I create transformative experiences for others and I am rewarded in abundance. So, you know, for me as a teacher, that just came through. I just wrote that, and that's an affirmation that I've been working with. Oh, you guys like that one? Thanks. Um, uh, yeah, and another one I have, I'll share one more. Do you guys want me to share one more? Um, give me some hearts. It can be something that we don't yet believe of ourselves. We are manifesting it totally. Thanks for clarifying that, Jen. So for Mara, I, ho I hope that helps, is that I think actually the best affirmations are things that you're trying to bring into your life. They're affirmations about who you are becoming. Because the reality is right now, I still am a little bit of an impatient person, right? That's something I'm working on. I, I still am um, sometimes not as you know persistent as I wanna be with following through with a particular thing. So my affirmation, I'm patient, persistent, and I meet every goal, that's me living into who I wanna be around that. Um, I create transformative experiences for people and I'm rewarded in, in abundance, right? That's also like who I'm living into. That's my big vision. Okay, and the last one I'll share is um, I care for myself and sustain my energy. So I think you guys who listen to the member only podcast, you knew that I had a struggle, something that I was really struggling with where I wasn't feeding myself enough throughout the day. I'd get wrapped up in a task, wrapped up in filming, wrapped up in editing, wrapped up in something else and um, I wouldn't do a good job like nourishing my body. So that affirmation is both helping me live into who I need to be to take care of myself, um, but it's also just like very practical, right? It's like, hey Brett, remember to take breaks, remember to feed yourself. So I'm hoping these give you guys some ideas of how, has this been helpful? Can you give me a yes or no in the chat if this has been helpful in um, 
helping you kind of come up with your own affirmations and what an affirmation is. Um, yeah, and if you have judgmental thoughts, you could have an affirmation that's the opposite of that Stephanie's saying and make that an affirmation. So if you think, um, you know, if you find yourself having judgmental thoughts about maybe you could have an affirmation that's like, I'm worthy and I deserve abundance. Or if you're um, struggling with money right now, maybe you could have an affirmation that's like, um, abundance is flowing towards me. Um, I'm so, you know, my life is full of rich things or something like that. Um, so yeah, so I write the same ones every morning, someone was asking, yes. And what happens is I just write the same ones every morning as part of my journaling and then they evolve over time. So that's the other thing, Mara, who asked this question in our private Facebook group. Um, the group is Yoga Hacks, yoga, H-A-C-K-S, community.com. We're all rock stars in there, guys, if you're not joined. And this was in the private Facebook group of Uplifted, which is my new membership site, which you should all go check out, brettlarkin.com forward slash Uplifted. Ben on YouTube says he has a question. Feel free to throw it in the chat. So that wraps up what I wanted to share about affirmations. Another question that came up in the, do you write any at night, Amanda? Good question. I um, it, At night, I tend to write an intention a little bit for the next day. So it's not so much like I'll write the same affirmations as, it's kind of funny in my journal, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, the little, I put little color brackets around the affirmations in different colors every day. Color coordination, guys. Um, it's fun. So at night, I'll sometimes write like what's gonna happen tomorrow as if it's already done. And this is something that's very powerful that you can also do for yourself. So as part of the bedtime, remember in the members only podcast, I talked about how, um, yeah, the evening recap. So I talked about like how the day went, what could have done, gone better. And then if you like, sometimes it just depends the mood I'm in. Cause I don't think it's good to get like Nazi strict with this stuff. It's like, as long as you come to your journal, just kind of like, just like you come to your mat, I consider that succeeding. I don't think it's like you have to do the exact same steps every time. But if I know I have a big day the next day, like maybe I'm a little worried about how I'm gonna get everything done or sustain my energy or something like that, I sometimes will write a vision for the day, which is like, you know, tomorrow I wake up and I feel excited about my life. I run to make a green smoothie. I film for two hours. I do like these conference calls and I'm nourishing myself throughout the day with healthy snacks. Um, then I go take a walk in the sunshine and I feel so grateful when Jake comes home at night and we have a great meal together. I just made that up, but like that's like three sentences or less, right? That you could write that's like a super clear vision of the next day. But you wanna write it in the present tense as if it has already happened. And that's really important for all these affirmations. You want to write them in the present tense as if they were already done. That's the key to manifesting. Oh, Alex, yeah, I'm excited. I filmed so many classes this week and they're all gonna be coming out in Uplifted ASAP. Um, so yeah, it's like as though you're already the person you want to be, right? Everything's written in the present tense. Everything's written as, and, and another thing you can say to yourself, and this is one of my big mentors, she says this to me all the time and she really encourages this, is to be like, it's done. Like to just say to yourself, it's done. Like my retreat in San Diego this September is full. It's done. Like I've manifested that, it's taken care of. Like it's already happening. It's a fact, yeah. And you can do that with everything in your life. And just thinking of it that way is gonna just change your energy around it. Everything is going to change. By the way, if you wanna come to my September yoga retreat in San Diego, look it up on my website. But um, you, you understand what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, so I promised Stephanie and some other folks on the call, yeah, like it's already done. Like if you believe it in your bones and your body um, and you're just like, I've manifested this, I've written it down, I'm doing affirmations and work around it and it's done. Like because you need to believe you're deserving of it. Do you, do you see how that's the deeper energy? In the classes I filmed this week, I've been talking about how to think about what's going on behind what's going on. What's going on behind what's going on? What's the attitude and the energy that you're arriving to your thoughts with, right? Because all your thoughts are swimming around and it's good to like slow those down and dissect those. 
But at the end of the day, I want you to think about like what's going on behind that. Hey from Dubai, what's the energy that you're arriving to your thoughts with? Is it an energy of lack or is it an energy of abundance and worthiness and you know, that kind of thing. So when you think it's done, hey from Palo Alto, local, um, you're really stepping into that, I deserve it, I believe it, and um, it doesn't mean that everything will go smoothly, as Jen says, so wise, yes, but it means that you are keeping calm whatever happens and you are believing in your vision and holding that space no matter what happens. And that's such a different energy to live and exist in as opposed to being like, I hope it works out. Right? It's like, what would you rather live in day to day? Because yoga is all about showing us we have a choice. Right? We have a choice. And folks on YouTube, I'm on Periscope if you want to jump over there if the connection is bad. Sorry about that. Um, you have a choice. You have a choice to live in uncertainty, fear, and being scared, or you can choose to step into and live in stuff is coming my way. I believe it. If I don't believe it, it won't happen totally. And like, it's done. Thank you, universe, for having my back. Every moment is a choice, totally. Okay, so this has gotten way longer than I thought it would. Um, so I wanted to answer Stephanie's questions about yoga teacher training. So I'm working on getting my online yoga teacher training up and running. So Stephanie, hopefully you're still on the scope so you can ask me specific questions, but I think the main things you wanted to know were cost and um, on, uh, online as compared to offline. So I do have some info for you guys about this. Um, so I'm, I'm working on, I'm, I want the training to be Yoga Alliance approved 200 hour. So I dug into the rules about this because we talked about this in our last member only call, you know, can it be approved and 200 hours approved if it's virtual? So the answer I have for you is it's a total gray area. Um, that the you know because all of this like live video and live chat and zoom and all the stuff we're doing it's so new that the yoga alliance doesn't have a clear opinion and like rules around it yet but I'm working with a very highly qualified yoga teacher training consultant and what she told me is that um, once my training is approved meaning all my materials and everything is squared away um, that they, like Yoga Alliance isn't gonna come and like take anyone's degree away or attack me or be upset if the training, oh Nathaniel, watch the replay. Hi Nathaniel, you would have really liked today's scope topic about affirmations and let it be done manifesting. I feel like it's totally up your alley. Now we're talking about yoga teacher training. So <laughs> it might not be as fun for you at this point, but watch the replay, I love you. Um, guys, Nathaniel is a great person here on Periscope if you wanna click his bio and also follow him um, and check him out. Um, I love you too. Okay, so where were we? Yoga teacher training. Um, yoga teacher training, yes. So it can be virtual. Um, uh, so sorry, I was saying it's a gray area. I got distracted. Um, Stephanie, help keep me focused. Um, it's, it's a gray area, but basically assuming the training is approved and everything else works out, um, I can do it virtually and it's just like this gray area right now. Like supposedly you need to have these contact hours, but the contact hours can be, um, like they're supposed to be in person, but they can be virtual if you get your training approved and they're not gonna like be mad at you about it behind behind the scenes. So Stephanie, um, it, it like the training, once I have everything together, can be approved in as short as two weeks and as long as a couple months. So it really depends. And I still am pulling all my training materials together. I want the training to be incredible. It's not something I wanna rush. So I'm definitely, look, it's like six months from now is sort of my target. Um, yeah, six, starting six months from now is my target. So either before the new year or at the new year. Um, and this is what my plan to do is, my plan is to have the, um, the, the teacher training be online. So anyone, and guys, if you need to run, enjoy your weekend, go. This is like the, this is like the bookkeeping part of our uh, t talk. Watch the replay for all the fun affirmation stuff. Um, we're just going over some other questions that came up in the Facebook group. Um, so Stephanie, the plan and, and yoga teacher training, people who are interested, the plan 
what I'm planning is that there would be basically two sections of doing the yoga teacher training. There would be a section that would be a lot of online videos and self-study that you do and buy as like a chunk, right? As sort of like the part you do at home. And then that there'd be a second chunk that you would buy. And that per, that part could either be in person, because I do want to do some in-person options for people, like we all meet up, or if you can get away for a week or a series of two weekends in a city, or you can do it virtual from home. So that was sort of my thinking. That way people, it's kind of like part A and part B. It's part A that is self, sort of self-study and we'll do calls and Zoom and stuff. And then part B, which is like the contact hours, the required contact hours, you'll have a choice if you wanna do them in person with me and those will usually be like before or after one of my retreats or like built into that. Or, you know, if you're a stay at home mom, you can do them virtually. And those will start at like a particular time each year. I thought that was the best option because that way it's kind of like works for everyone. People who want to have that in person experience can get it. People who need to do it from home can get it. And everyone can get the foundation. Um, and yeah, we could definitely do it in New York or something like that. But the good news is that it sounds like Yoga Alliance is assuming, um, you know, the trainings approved and all my materials are what they want, which of course they will be, um, that they're, they're not going to like come break down our doors or give us a hard time if someone ends up not being able to do the contact hours in person. Um, so that being said, I want to provide the option for you to do it in person if you want to do it in person. I'll provide the option to do it online if you want to do it online. So that's kind of the plan as, as for the cost, you know, yoga teacher trainings are expensive. They take a lot to put together. There will definitely be a payment plan. I think every single thing I've ever sold has had a payment plan. <laughs> like my retreat to Italy had a payment plan where people were paying as little as $200 a month um, for like a very expensive retreat. The San Diego retreat, if you guys are interested in that in September, has a payment plan. Um, but I'm think the two chunks I think will each be around a thousand dollars and the training will be around two thousand dollars total, which is pretty low for most teacher trainings. A lot of the trainings, I know mine was three thousand or four thousand. So again, don't hold me to this because it's so early. I need to um, you know, to teach the anatomy section, I want to bring in this amazing woman who is absolutely incredible with anatomy and get professional videos and stuff filmed of her and get her on the phone with you guys. And, you know, there's a lot of expense involved with developing like a lot of video content um, and doing all of this. But that's sort of my aim because I do want it to be affordable for people. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So it would be like part A and part B maybe each around a thousand dollars and um of course if you do it in person and we're in bali or something it would be more expensive but just to give you guys an idea and that payment plans 100 percent are going to be part of everything i do um so you'll always be able to kind of do that route if needed um and we're looking at about six months from now so i know it's really early i feel weird even talking about stuff like this early but i know a lot of you just wanted that information, you want it to sort of mentally be in that headspace to be able to know, prepare, get ready. Um, so I'm happy, I'm more than happy to, to share the info with you. And it's great, you know, you guys, I love that you're pushing me to do all these things that I've dreamed of doing because I've dreamed of doing so many things. And um, it's, it's really great when I have that affirmation and motivation from you guys being like, hey, we really want this make it a priority and it just it lights me up inside so thank you so so much okay cool does anyone have any other quick questions otherwise i'm gonna hop off to keep filming stuff for us um i hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful weekend we have our next member call on wednesday and would you say we would be able to compete for teaching positions against traditional grads great question lake yes you'll be the exact same as any Yoga Alliance 200 hour certified teacher. In fact, you'll probably be better prepared <laughs> um, because my training is gonna go a lot into like the business side of yoga, queuing and sequencing. Um, all my business courses will be in the yoga teacher training, oh yeah. 
Um, so you will definitely be able to compete. One thing that my teacher training, I loved my teacher, you like the bow and arrow from yesterday. I loved my yoga teacher training, but one thing that I didn't love was that they, they kind of like withheld a lot of information for the 300 hour. So for example, they didn't give us a ton of information about like advanced pranayama techniques or hands on adjustments or things, or, or even business stuff, because they were like, oh, that's all in the 300 hour training. And I don't wanna do that with my training. Like we are going to, I'm gonna give you everything I have. Like I don't feel like it should be like, you have to also do a 300 hour with me after the 200, like that's not what I'm going for at all. Um, so, so yeah, like to answer your question, just because the training is virtual. Um, so Stephanie, I don't think there'll be limited spots for the, um, for the like part A, because that's like a lot of us just studying and talking and reading together. For the part B, for the hand, uh, for the contact hours, we're calling it, even though those contact hours can be virtual, there, there will be limited spaces. But you'll be first to know, we're gonna work it out. Um, and thanks for, you know, again, pushing me to get this done sooner rather than later, because it's something that's always been on the agenda. It's just been a question of like, when do I really like submit all my paperwork and get all my ducks in a row? and having you guys light a fire under me has really helped expedite that process. So I thank you. Um, okay, cool you guys. I hope you go into your weekend beautiful and calm and radiant and that you enjoy our core workouts for the weekend. I have a special secret, extra special core class coming for you guys next week. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. And uh, you guys are so welcome. Thanks for all the comments and the love. Oh, you did it on your rooftop, Alicia. That sounds beautiful. Cool. So fun to hang out with you guys. As always, yay core, yay uplifted. If you're not um, a member, check out everything. It's all on my website, brettlarkin.com. And hard it up for our final moments together. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I can't wait to see you guys on Monday. Bye. No idea how to turn this off. <laughs>